Hello there, Aquarius friends. How are you? We have done it, you guys. We have broken through that thousand subscriber barrier. I am excited. We have hit that goal and I want to thank you all so much for making that happen. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for um, liking, sharing, subscribing, booking readings. You guys are the absolute freaking best. And I love you for it, Aquarius friends. Mwah. I just want to thank you so much. And uh, this is just a shout out for Marcia Mitchell. I just, I just love you. Meeting you was great. Meeting you was great. And it's meaningful to me. And so I'm so happy and grateful for the success, this journey. Granted, there are people with way more subscribers than me, but the point of me being here is to be of service and to be a light and share um, in a way that the divine can use me, God can use me to be a blessing to you guys. So for that, I am eternally and truly grateful, Aquarius friends. So with that said, I'm just going to say a quick prayer. Father, thank you for my Aquarius friends, all of the beautiful, wonderful support that they have given me. I pray that you bless them double, give them beautiful Jupiter, magnanimous blessings, growth, expansion, protection. Thank you for them, Lord. And I just pray for the clearest guidance I have ever had. Um, thank you for uh, your guidance, archangels, Spirit guides of the highest, most divine, holy order, ancestors. Thank you, Holy Spirit, and thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, Aquarius friends. Right on top is they choose you. It says you might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit. But there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be here. Now, that's what we call a reputation. Some of you are like beyond your timing and it says you'll find what you seek here aquarius this is such an aquarius card it says if you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing awesome fun and fantastic chances are astronomical you will again if you haven't yet found such a person chances are astronomical you will it's up to you the universe so aquarius it sounds like you guys are charting your own course underneath that card is create space for new love um this is beautiful i just did a wonderful okay reading for capricorn and love was in the air so there you know i've i've smudged and everything but it looks like love is on deck independence is here god is vast it says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. And underneath that is fertility, goddess Ostara. This card is about it being a ripe season and time to start something new. It could literally mean becoming pregnant, getting pregnant. It could be starting a new business, a new venture, doing something that um, it's the right season and the right time for it, Aquarius. That looks good. Let me get one more guidance card for you, my Aquarius friends. Um, please continue to like, share, subscribe. When you comment and subscribe, I add your name to the reading raffle. I have that every 100 subscribers. We've gone so fast and grown so fast that I will be selecting three names during this next raffle. Just click the notification bell so you can be notified. I try to do that live, and I will do that this weekend at some point. So make sure that you tune in or just just you know come back to the channel and see the video will be available if you're not able to join me live you'll see the video and so i'm wishing you guys the best of luck any messages for my aquarius friends from now through the end of august holy spirit oh and check your sun moon rising and venus signs you got perfect timing didn't i say that didn't i say that it's the perfect time well oh, well there you go all right, Aquarius. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's do this spread. I feel like you don't need it, but let's do it anyway. Okay. All right. All right. So the time of waiting is over. Ugh, Aquarius, you ugly. <laughs> so my sister says it. My sister is a riot. And so whenever like something is going good and people get excited she was like oh you ugly so anyway it's a it's a term of endearment i love you aquarius you're not ugly it's just we're family now all right so this is a pinnacles card which is a capricorn virgo or taurus it's about an investment 
you've been waiting, could put, put have invested your time um, or whatever, but the waiting is over. The waiting is over. There's going to be some movement here. You may have to make a choice, Aquarius. It could be people. It could be a, a career. Um, but you are at a crossroads. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But it looks like you have a choice to make. But I love that the waiting is over. I love that. I love that. I'm looking at a, a at a at a two of cups, by the way, at the bottom of the deck. So some of you have met your soulmate. Um, the crossing energy is justice. This is a Libra card, but this is about things working out fairly. It's funny because this also happened with Capricorn. So um, a completely different deck. So your crossing energy is you hoping that things work out in your favor, not being able to see maybe all of the details or seeing what's coming up next. You're hopeful, though. This card is the crossing energy. So you're like, I really hope things work out fairly. Could be a legal matter, um, but that's your concern. At the bottom of uh, your your uh, foundational energy is about money. And so you guys are bossing up. This is King of Pentacles. I think this is where you want to be. Your finances, um, natural resources, monetary resources. Those are the things you could have been juggling a lot, juggling people, uh, wanting to be in a stable, successful financial position. Okay. So if you are thinking about starting a business or have uh, starting a profession in the legal field for some of you, um, some of you are just like, you know, it looks like it's, yeah. So you could have had to be really, really stingy with your resources in the past with this four of pentacles in reverse. Things were tight. Money was just tight. It's like you had to watch every dime, every penny. Maybe you weren't saving like you should. You had maybe lost money in the past. And it's like you were down in the freaking dumps about it. Um, what is the crowning energy for this reading, Holy Spirit? What is the crowning energy for this reading? Thank you. The moon card. This is the Pisces card. It could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is about your hidden desires, secrets coming out. Um, we'll get a clarifier for that. I think they're your deepest desires as well. Attraction. Bam. Hidden attraction. Someone is hidden is attracted to you. Um, it's hidden desire. You'll find what you seek though. Somebody's choosing you Aquarius or you're choosing them. I think it's unspoken. You guys haven't maybe shared it yet. You could be in your head about it though. In your head about a lot of things, feeling that there are barriers up that don't really exist. An illusion of there being, of being entrapped or entrapment. But this is something maybe coming to an end and there's a brand new beginning starting. Could be a person of a different nationality, someone who is at a distance from you that you are very attracted to, but you don't know how it can work. Interesting. The plot thickens, Aquarius. All right. So what is the near future, Holy Spirit, for my Aquarius friends? What is in the near future? What is in the near future for my Aquarius friends? I feel like it's nothing but net, Aquarius. That's how I feel. It's all good. So the end of a burdensome situation is coming up. Yeah, definitely. Could be with a, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Someone is has very loving energy. Someone misses somebody. Um, but I think burdensome heavy times are coming to an end. Having a lot of responsibilities, maybe. You may not know that someone else has a lot of responsibility. They're carrying a lot of weight. There's a King of Wands energy here, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It looks like both of you are on the same wavelength. So, Or this could be you in a different energy having the ability to give and receive help here. Things being very balanced in the give and take department. And there's a victory card, a cancer card here as well, which is traveling. Moving closer together. Somebody's moving closer to their heart's desires. Ready to make a move. Ready to make a choice. Give and take. 
it's looking good like your equals whatever this is um it's cups energy cancer pisces scorpio loving energy um it could be you having a balance of both aquarius money and love i'm just saying I saw this a second ago, the Eight of Cups. This is your environment. It's moving towards something that serves you. It's being drawn with that moon. That moon is in there twice. You are seeking something and you're going to find it. You're going to bump smack dab into it. <laughs> Aquarius, that's my seeking card right here. Eight of Cups for some people is like, oh, you're emotionally depleted and walking away. No, for me, this is my... What was the commercial for um, great taste, less filling? Or they'd be like, great taste, no, less filling. It was some beer. Anyway, it's moving towards something that's more fulfilling for you. Um, you could be looking for the great taste or you could be looking for something to be more fulfilling. Either way, it draws you towards someone and in a different direction. I do see a seven of swords here, which is ill-gotten gain sometime. Uh, all money isn't good money. Uh, it could be, you know, miscommunication, something. Something isn't quite curling, isn't quite right, Aquarius. Someone isn't telling the whole truth is what I'm getting. It's like a half truth. You halfway know what the truth is about someone. What are your hopes and fears? From my Aquarius friends. What are the hopes and fears? A higher level of commitment maybe with a Taurus and wondering if this Ace of Pentacles is going to come in. I believe it is. Um, some of you are taking a leap of faith and it's going to it, you're you're thinking about it. I don't feel like it's worry, but there's rest and meditation needed before you do it, before you take the leap and make the offer of love or an offer comes to you. Um, being sociable, being around people. Some of you really are wanting to. Yeah, the money's coming in. The money's coming in, whatever the holdup was. It could be a settlement. Some of you could have a settlement coming in. You had to watch every single dime of your money, but that's changing. Things could have got really heavy and hard. Some of you could be walking away from a heavy situation like this is for the birds. Okay, what is the potential outcome? I feel like it's that Ace of Pentacles. A golden opportunity coming to you. You're going to find what you seek. The seven of swords keeps popping up though. Um, I don't know why that's popping up, but we'll f try to find out here. Aquarius. It's when something isn't. Um... All right. Holy spirit. Just a clarifier for the seven of pentacles and the justice card at the core of this reading. There's too many. Clarification on the Seven of Pentacles and the Justice card, please. All right, so the King of Cups is popping up again. So there's somebody who is loving, generous, looking at the situation generously. There's also a Princess of Wands, a young Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, this could be parental as well. What's this justice card, Holy Spirit? Okay, so involving how somebody could be wanting to buy a house. Someone could be, it's, it's financial stability. Hoping things come out financially where you're able to um, buy a house. There's a loss. Maybe there was a loss of someone and there's an inheritance. Did I mention that before? Someone could have passed 
but there was a loss. Someone could have walked away. I'm not sure there was a loss, but there could be an inheritance and things get brighter, Aquarius. Things are illuminated. You learn about some money. Someone could have left you some money that you didn't know about. Someone who's at a distance from you could have left you some resources that you were not aware of. Huh. Yeah, I feel like there are some there are some resources you didn't know about. The moon card of the five of pentacles here, which is feeling left out in the call, needing resources. And somebody is moving close. Somebody is coming towards you that I feel like it could. The chariot came up before, right? Somebody could be coming towards you, coming to visit you that you are not aware is coming. Somebody could be coming to ask you for help, Aquarius, that you didn't see coming. Uh, it could be a, uh, a soulmate. Someone that you love or coming towards you. It's a golden opportunity. So there's another Ace of Pentacles. Someone coming towards you or you moving towards them. But I feel like they're coming towards you, Aquarius. It's a, they need help. Somebody needs help. All right, what's this Ten of Wands, please? You could have been the one needing the help, and then you realize somebody left you some money. Like, oh my gosh, and you're going to get it. What is this Ten of Wands? And it takes a huge financial burden off of you, too. This is amazing. What is this Ten of Wands energy, please? Yeah, five of cups. So there was, it's like there was a heavy burden. There was a loss. But there's a sun card here again. Whatever this loss was is your gain. Someone's loss is your gain, Aquarius. Wow. I, I just feel like you didn't see it coming. Or if you're seeking after it and going after it, you find it. You find what you seek after, Aquarius. Can we clarify the Hierophant? Holy Spirit, can we clarify the Hierophant? Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups? Thank you so much. In the environment, a queen of pentacles. So it could be uh, an established, generous, kind earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus that you are going to see. It could be a parent. And there was a loss there. There was some heartbreak. Maybe there was a divorce. But there is a new beginning, like the wheel of fortune is changing. There's a life cycle that's ending and one is beginning. Things are starting to turn in your favor. You could be going to ask for help or going to see someone who lives at a distance from you. I was getting foreign land or something, but like it's the unknown. It's somebody that you don't know well. Someone who may be past that you didn't know that's in a different part of the world or something. And you realize like, oh my God, I'm rich. I got money. What's this Ace of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? You may have thought someone forgot about you or left you out in the cold, but that's not the case, Aquarius. The devil card, so the Capricorn card and the wheel of fortune. Mm. I'm just going to say all money's not good money. That's all I'm going to say. Don't be too impulsive. If somebody is really eager and willing to help you and give you a bunch of money, there's something not right about the situation with this devil card and this seven of swords. It's some kind of you know, all money isn't good money, Aquarius. Okay? Don't start a karmic cycle that you don't want to live down. If you're thinking of asking for someone for help, I think there are going to be strings attached. 
to them giving you whatever it is. And it's going to end up in heartbreak. There's a three of swords twice here. Yeah. Just someone could have promised you something and they don't deliver on their promises. And I hope they don't hang you out to dry. It's like in maybe you're maybe that seven of pentacles at the top of your reading was about impatience. Like you are not waiting anymore. You don't want to wait anymore. Finances are tight. And so you're going to go ask somebody for help who's at a distance from you. The thing is, there are strings attached to that victory. So comment let me know but be mindful of that it's something to be aware of okay aquarius i love you guys dearly book a reading with me if you have other questions or great special right now 11 22 take advantage of it that ends at the end of august i love you guys god bless you take care